accomplish everything with many habits. Crap, I wanted to do it. I had to do it. But again, I didn't. Sound like you? Do you often find yourself in a situation where you set a goal within a day, but because the tasks that you needed to accomplish seem tedious, so you end up finishing nothing? Don't feel bad. We're all guilty of it. Just imagine if you have to work for eight hours, then clean the house, exercise, cook food, and read a book. How exhausting would that be, don't you agree? But what if I tell you that you could do all those tasks in just a day? Most of you at this point of the video are now probably wondering how that would work. But actually, it is possible, thanks to many habits. This is John. So he promised himself, from now on, I'll exercise for an hour every day. Unfortunately, that did not go as planned. He couldn't always force himself to start exercising, let alone do it for an hour. He'd make excuses like, I have something else to do first, and I don't have time to exercise right now. So he didn't exercise for even a minute that day. The next day, he'd frequently feel awful and tell himself, Okay, now I'll make up for it by doing much more strenuous exercise today. But, much to his dismay, that likewise did not work out. But then he decided to change things up a little. Instead of setting such high goals for himself, he chose to ease his exercise plan. He shortened the amount of time he planned to exercise from one hour to 10 minutes. This manner, no matter what happened during the day, he would always be able to meet his fitness objective. He could always find 10 minutes in his day, no matter how exhausted or busy he was. So if there were no excuses. One of the most serious issues that people face is that they have unrealistic expectations of themselves. And as a result of such high expectations, we don't always get things done. You could plan to study for an hour, but what if you only have 40 minutes to spare? Most people would not even attempt to begin since their objective is to study for one hour. As a result, instead of gaining 40 minutes of information through study, they settle for zero minutes. Their lofty goals are stopping them from achieving their objectives. And that's the wrong approach. This is when many habits come into play. Many habits are behaviors with such low expectations that you can execute them every single day without fail. Remember all those activities I mentioned at the start? They were actually many versions. Instead of spending 30 minutes practicing the piano, try to tone it down to five minutes. And if you promise to read 10 pages of the book, reduce it to one page. You could think that's counterproductive now. Reading only one page of a book every day won't get you anywhere, right? Well, that's not necessarily the case. These tiny habits are highly beneficial since they allow you to complete tasks over a longer period of time. And you do want to form habits that'll last, don't you? Let me tell you my story. Years ago, when I was struggling with my meditation practice, but turning it into a mini version made all the difference. Since the expectation was so low, I had no problem starting the habit. And what happened as a result is that when I did the habit for those five minutes, I would often do a little more afterward. So ultimately, what ended up happening is I would sometimes do 30 minutes of meditation, even if the goal was just five minutes. That is why many habits are so effective. You perform the small version if you don't feel like practicing the habit that day or if you're short on time. This way, you still get the stuff done while avoiding guilt. However, the mini version frequently evolves into a longer form. Some days, your motivation will be great and you will be able to stay going for much longer. 
As a result, having tiny habits does not imply that you were unproductive. Remember, the tiny steps lead to big results. Objects in motion tend to stay in motion, while objects at rest tend to stay at rest. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's actually Newton's first law of motion. I'm sure your science teacher has told you this before. This can be said about us as well. If you're currently procrastinating, it's very difficult to make yourself go study for an hour. However, if you've been studying for three minutes already, it's so much easier to just continue studying. And that is what many habits do. They help us get started because they don't require too much commitment from us. Starting something is often the biggest problem we have when it comes to productivity. But once we get started and have some momentum, it's a lot simpler to keep going. If you have an expectation to clean your entire room, you might never get around to do it because the thought of doing all that work seems daunting. I bet that you will just lie on your bed and use your phone for the whole day. Instead, you want to commit something super easy, like sweeping the floor. When you do that, you find it much easier to continue since you've already started. You might then get some extra motivation and do the dishes and your laundry. But even if you don't feel like doing anything else afterward, you still did something, which is more than nothing. And in the long term, this minimalistic method will yield greater outcomes than the typical approach. A typical habit looks something like this. You establish an ambitious goal for yourself with great expectations. The first few days are fine since you're motivated. Then, you had to skip a day due to unforeseen circumstances. However, you manage to squeeze in another nice day. But once again, life intervened and you had to skip two days in a row. And the cycle continues until you can't stand it anymore and the habit comes apart. Minimal habit, on the other hand, looks like this. You establish a goal for yourself, but it's a very little goal with a low expectation. It's so simple that you could do it every day. You constantly do a little bit, but every now and then, you have the time and energy to do more. And even if life gets in the way, you can always do the mini version because it's so small. Essentially, you'll never miss a day. So you're still going and keeping up the habit even after months. Basically, you commit the minimum effort towards a goal, but make it highly frequent. In the long term, many habits outperform typical habits. Now, I encourage you to find something that you're constantly procrastinating on and apply the mini habit concept there. If you're delaying your piano practice, then just play, let's say, five minutes. And if you're still struggling to commit to your gym session, then just work out for 20 to 30 minutes. Make the habit so small that you'll never have a problem starting it. Essentially, you find yourself sticking with it for the long run, which is the most important element when it comes to habits. Consistency. If you made it this far, I can tell that you are being serious about changing your life. So help us reach more individuals like you by subscribing to this channel. You can also share your thoughts in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.